Okay, so for this question, I've just sketched what we're given. And as you can see, we're asked to find this area that I've shaded here, which is called R. Between the curve C and the y-axis and the tangent to the curve at the point P with coordinates 415. So how are we going to get this area R? Well, the method that I'm going to use is slightly different to the method in the mark scheme, purely because I prefer it. I don't like to work with areas below the x-axis. So what I'm going to do is essentially translate this graph upwards by however much this distance below the x-axis is that the tangent crosses the y-axis by. Let's say it's a negative number, which we'll say is minus k. So I'm going to translate this up by k units. The graph would then look something like this. We'll end up with exactly the same area r, but I've pushed the graph upwards by k units. And so the new curve is going to be the existing equation plus k units. And the y-coordinate of p is going to be 15 plus k units. And what I'm going to do then is to work out this area r, just going to integrate the area under the curve, that will be between the y-axis and the x-axis between 0 and 4. It would be this area here. Okay, And then I'm going to subtract the area of this right-angle triangle. And that will give me the area of r. OK, so that's essentially what I'm going to do. But to work out what k is, I need to establish the equation of the line L, that tangent at P. And so I'm going to get the gradient by differentiating the curve, C. That will give me the gradient any point. Then I can substitute x equals 4 into dy by dx. That will get me that gradient. And then I can get the equation of the straight line L by using the form y minus y1, that will be the 15, equals m, the gradient that I've just found, times x minus x1, the x-coordinate at p. OK, so you should be able to get the equation of tangent. We'll find out where it crosses the y-axis, get our value of k, then I can substitute it into here and then integrate the curve between 0 and 4 and subtract the area of this triangle. All right, so that's the method. I know it's taken a long while just to explain that, but uh, that's essentially where I'm going to be going. OK, so let's start by differentiating the curve in the usual way. That will give us the gradient at any point on the curve. So dy by dx would equal and then, in the usual way, differentiating 5x to the power 3 over 2, it would be 5 times the power 3 over 2. That's going to give us 15 over 2. And then reduce the power by 1. So that's down to the power half. For the minus 9x, that's going to differentiate just to minus 9. And the constant goes to 0. OK? So... We now need to work out that gradient of the tangent at the point when x equals 4, the x-coordinate at p. And when x equals 4, if you were to substitute that value into dy by dx, what you'll get is the square root of 4, 4 to the power of half, square root of 4 is 2. So 15 over 2 times 2 is just 15. Take away the 9 gives us a positive gradient of 6, which is what we'd expect, a positive gradient. Now, we should be in a position then to find the equation of the line L. Just write a subtitle in here. Equation of L is, and remember I'm going to use y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. So y minus y1, that would be the 15 there, OK, equals m, the gradient, which is 6, times x minus x1. And x1 is the x-coordinate of p. I could expand this out. Don't really need to. All I want to find out is where that line, L, crosses the y-axis. And that's going to be when x equals 0. 
and if I put x equals 0 in here, we've just got 6 times minus 4, which is minus 24. And then if I add 15 to that, I get my y value, which turns out to be minus 9. And we expected a negative value here for where it crosses the y-axis. So that corresponds with minus k. So it clearly follows from here that k must be equal to 9. Not minus 9, but 9. OK? So what I'm going to do is now add 9 units then to our equation of the curve. So therefore, we've got our new equation of the curve, c dash c, is going to be y equals 5x to the power 3 over 2 minus 9x and then we've got 11 plus that constant k 11 plus 9 so that's plus 20 okay and clearly our coordinate here for y is going to now be 15 plus the 9 so that's going to be 24. So we've got our new value of p having coordinates 4 and 24. OK? So I need to get the area of r. So therefore, the area of r. Well, we're going to integrate the curve. OK? The curve being 5x to the power 3 over 2 minus 9x plus that 20. There's several terms here, so make sure we put it in brackets. We're integrating with respect to x between the limits of 0 and 4. And remember, that would give us now all of this area here, OK? Up to this point here, which has an x-coordinate of 4, all right? But I need to take away the area of the triangle. And I can do that very easily using half the base times the perpendicular height. The base is clearly here, 0 to 4, so that's going to have a length of 4 units. And the height is now going to be 24 units. OK, so we've got that times 24. OK, so all we need to do is integrate all of this and integrating 5x to the power 3 upon 2 is going to be 5x add 1 to the power that's going to be to the power 5 over 2 and divide by the new power that's 5 over 2. For the minus 9x add 1 to the power so it's going to be 9x squared and divide by that new power 2. And for the constant 20 just add an x on the end so that gives us 20x. And we need to put that in brackets there. And the limits are between 0 and 4. And we might as well work this area of the triangle out. If you work that out, half of 4 is 2. 2 times 24 is 48. So it's just a question now of substituting 4 through for x and then subtracting what we get when we put 0 through. Well, to save time, I have actually done this in advance okay so putting 4 through gives us this line if you put 0 through you're just going to get 0 for each one of those terms so I haven't bothered with that and then minus that 48 and if you work out all of these values here you should find you get 64 minus 72 plus 80 and then the minus 48 and totaling that up comes to 24 you'll notice I put units squared purely because it's an area. You don't have to do that. I just like doing it. You're not going to lose any marks in a question like this if you don't put that in. All right, so uh, there you go. Hope uh, you're able to follow that method through.